Hello, buddies. I'm Hugo. In this video, I would like to have a quick review on this Ryzen 5000 series CPU. It is an engineering sample from Huaqiangbei. Probably this is the 5300G from Rumor. Let's check the info on BIOS. First of all, ensure your mainboard has been updated to the latest version for safely launching. And we can see the product code is correctly being identified as ending with 262-30. Meanwhile, enable the XMP. Here we have a glance on the settings. Actually, all unchanged as default. Next section is the most exciting part. Now we smoothly boot the Windows system. 262, correct code name, and it is a full course A thread processor. That's why I assume it is the ES version of 5300G. Let's have a look on CPU-Z. No more details on the name, but just AMD Ryzen. The code name Zizan is as expected. The 262 code on the specification is correctly identified as well. As the APU is running in default settings, the core speed is not being locked. Mainboard is the X570 chipset. The RAM info CL16 3200 speed and the SPD. Graphics is blank. Now let's move on to benchmark testing. Honestly, the first time when I look at a single thread score, I feel a little bit disappointed. Because it doesn't exceed 600, but just 550 level. You know what? For my stereotype of its design structure, it must stand on 600 stage. Still, it has over 10% leading compared with 4350NG, the former generation of Heniva APU. While in multi-thread, advantage shrinks to 7.9 percentage. Well, I have no comment on Intel's 4-core CPU because I really have no idea what they are doing. As usual, let's proceed the test on Fritz Benchmark. It takes around a minute to finish this test. I think this result is remarkable. To the best of my knowledge, this is the first 4-core CPU could surpass 20,000 score. In Cinebench section, I'm using Auto Run to let it continuously test for 10 times. Such round and round testing may reduce errors in test. Here is the direct comparison with previous generation. Over 16% progress. That's really amazing. Among the others, he still sits in the first place. Once again, I will repeat how to install the Vega 8 graphic driver. Generally speaking, please don't be straightforward to install but utilize computer management. Right-click, Update Driver, choose the driver from computer, choose from driver list, select and install from disk. Now let's find the driver back on the desktop. Packages, Drivers, Display. Keep going and select the INFL on the upper one. And then confirm. Now we have a bunch of supporting graphic cards. Just feel free rolling down to the middle section. Find out the Vega 8 and next step. Neglect the notice and confirm. The screen may flash several times, but no worries. Now we success. At this stage, don't forget to reboot Windows. Seems everything right in order. Let's check again the text manager. The 262 port code. RAM 64G. Disk 90 Pro. Wi-Fi and GPU. Vega 8. Now I believe it is functional. So it's time to test gaming performance without a shadow of doubt. The Dawnbreaker of Battlefield 4. I joined the Ghost server without any other player to interrupt my test. Actually, I just don't want to die. This time I set the resolution as 1080p and quality in low, mid, and high. Similarly, the same approach I applied on Battlefield 5, the map is in Provence. Let's get started from the low quality, around 40 to 50 FPS, in the open ground circumstance. Actually, what I'm shooting there is no sound, because the driver is still not able to activate audio output. 
To sum up, I make a comparison chart for your reference. Indeed, for a core GPU, this result is perfect. At least for me, it is playable. Yet, considering the audio issue, I highly recommend you prepare a discrete graphics in advance. During the 15 minutes test, and I tested it twice, its temperature control is really out of my imagination. I'm just using a regular wave prism cooler. The thing is, it even no higher than 49 Celsius. I tell you what, our room temperature is around 23 Celsius. As a startup line, it rises just 25 degrees. 